But up today on the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher, the Racers go to LP Field, home of the Tennessee Titans, for the first time since 2009 as they go for six straight wins against Tennessee State. Quarterback Parks Frazier makes his second start in the game on Saturday. And Murray State plays well, and they don't trail until 128, but it was a heartbreak in the end. And now the seniors play their final game in a Murray State uniform against Eastern Kentucky. Plus today, before we leave, the calls of the great voice of the racers, Neil Bradley. The Racer Report begins right now. And that will bring us to the final game of the season. Saturday, the racers are at old Roy Stewart Stadium, our home field. Hope to see Racer 1 running around for one final time for this season. The racers against arch rival Eastern Kentucky. They date back to the beginning of the OVC in 1948. And even before that, look forward to that last home game Saturday against Eastern Kentucky. Head coach Chris Hatcher here. Tough defeat uh, against Tennessee State Saturday, 17-10. Coach, you guys held on until the final 128. I know it was a heartbreaking loss for you. Well, it's the same old song for us, Dave, that, um, you know, we've only on a three-game skid defensively. I think we're improving. We played great defense. I um, mean, I got a little worn down at the end, and, and they popped a big run on us. Offensively, um, you know, at times we moved the ball extremely well. We had a 95-yard drive. And then, um, you know, the big key with us, though, we were 0 for 10 on third down right. conversions, and it's, it's very frustrating. Um, when you're an offensive-minded guy and you're not able to move the ball, we're down some playmakers out wide. Um, we did have some guys step up, I thought, that played well at the receiver position. Um, but we're just not consistent enough to play for 60 minutes right now. And it's just very frustrating. It's very disappointing. I feel bad for our players because they are they're playing extremely hard. Um, so we got to make some corrections and move on. Okay, well, we're going to roll the tape here and take a look at the first half from LP Field, the Racers' first visit there uh, since 2009. And the Racers going for six straight wins against Tennessee State. They played very, very well in this game. And, Coach, you guys won the toss and took the ball first. Well, I, I wanted to, to see if our offense could get something going early on and, and have a positive start. And um, here's Pokey Harris um, on the return. and. Um, we, we just about crease it, but get a nice return. Anytime you get over the 25-yard line, you got to be happy with that. Um, we come off, and um, this is just, you know, again, some inexperience, even though Jordan Moore is a senior. Um, he's got to settle in the zone, get up the field a little quicker. Um, we come out, Parks makes an errant throw here um, on a second down play, and then on third down, um, we try a little run up the middle, and, you know, that, the big key with us right now is that we can't um, we can't run the ball very well and our screen game isn't working and if you've been following our football team for the past couple of years when those two things are going um, our offense is really moving the ball well and here, here's a great play um, by um, Io there and um, I, I couldn't see who else was, was in Felton on the Collins. Felton Collins mm -hmm. um, but defensively we're flying around extremely well um, we contain the QB um, pretty much for the most part. Um, and they got a couple completions, but that being one of them, um, we bring the all-out blitz and great coverage down the field by Darren Yavi. Yep, uh, Chavez Sims uh, right here had a quarterback hurry as he got in there, and you guys were really putting pressure on the quarterback, and you guys make Tennessee State uh, punt on their first possession. Yep, and um, Janowski Davis here, he did a nice job catching it. Uh, maybe should have let that one go, <laughs> but, um, you know, we come right back and, um, Paul Rice filling in for Walter Powell. Um, he's a St. Louis native, comes in, makes a catch there, and comes back with about a 16, 17 yard gain. So, you know, at least we're winning the battle of field position here, getting it off our goal line. Um, nice little throw and catch to Jeremy Harness. Um, you know, things are starting to click a little bit. We're getting in some rhythm. And um, here's the same play we missed earlier. Um, we pick up a first down on the screen play to Dwayne Brady. I'm a senior, a little shuttle pass, but um, when our shuttle pass isn't working, you know we're in trouble. They were just so big up front, Dave. And, um, and here's a nice play. Again, Paul Rice on the reception for um, another first down play. And then um, Janowski Davis, look at this catch. 
Um, he was kind of the guy, Dave Force, that mm -hmm. he played um, for in Walter's position, and then D um, Navar Griffin right. um, didn't make the trip, so he played in his position as well. Um, but he actually goes down with an injury later on in the game, and then yeah. we don't have any backups. Yeah, here's Dwayne Brady. He takes it down to the 13, and uh, then a little flip to uh, Jordan Morrow. Thought maybe he got in right there, but you do get the touchdown on the next play. Yep, we throw a little hitch and go to Pokey Harris for his second touchdown on the season. And we're really excited. I mean, that's a very impressive drive. That was 11 plays, 94 yards, Coach. For, for anybody, but right. especially for us. You know, right now we're in the mode when we get a first down, we're excited about it. And then uh, Weinstra knocks the, the point after through. So the Racers are up 7-3 uh, to three, uh, midway in the first quarter. Actually, Coach, in that first quarter, uh, the Racers held the ball for almost 10 minutes of the quarter. Yeah, we, um, you know, the defense was getting a lot of three and outs, and there's Darian Skinner on a big third down stop. Um, again, here's um, Janowski Davis. I thought he did a wonderful job fielding kicks all night, you know, making if positive yardage. If he doesn't make that catch, it's probably back to the six. <laughs> oh, uh, with a lot of yeah, times, you just a, want a guy to catch the ball. And, yeah, that was um, a hard catch. Yep, and then you see Jamal Berry making a guy miss, and um, doing something with it. He's really been playing well, Dave. I'm really mm -hmm. proud of him. Um, I didn't think this was a very good decision, but it ended up with a great result. Um, Parks um, was pretty much on fire there early on in the game. Um, here's another little screen pass. And again, these are just to wear the defense down a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we had this play set up very nicely. Poor execution on the play. And then third down, they force us to throw it quick. Um, and unfortunately, um, Weinster misses just a tad to the left. I think it had the distance. Which would have put us up 10 nothing. Okay, so the missed 38 yarder, Tennessee State uh, takes over. And uh, Broughton uh, hurt his shoulder in there, but then they put in hooks and, and Davenport. Those two guys were good too. Well, they're, they're just a kind of a, a team that likes to really just pound the football at you. And um, defensively, Coach Thorell did a, a great job all evening. Um, bringing our bringing our pressures um, at the right times. Um, here, Ski's got to be able to hang on to the football, but fortunately, we we recover our own fumble. Nice scramble here by Parks Frazier. You know, Parks runs a little better. We really give him does. credit for. So here we go. We're on. We're we're moving the ball really well again. Um, great catch by Janowski Davis. So we're first and goal um, as we head in to the fourth quarter. Now we find our, our second, our second quarter. quarter. Second quarter yep. Actually, I told the yep. referee it was the fourth quarter. <laughs> um, and and we, we end up having to throw the ball away and settle for a field goal here, Dave. And again, kind of been the story of our year. We're having some red zone woes as well. But um, but we do go up 10 nothing, feeling really good about ourselves. You know, at that point, Coach, if, if someone would have told me that that was all you were going to get in the day, I w wouldn't have believed him because I just thought there was another drive or two in there. Well, I know, and, and then here, you know, unfortunately, we come out and we throw an interception, um, and, and we bad thing about it is we had Jesse Blackburn wide open down the side. We uh -huh. just picked the wrong guy. Um, so they get good field position. Um, again, defense, there's Felton Collins in there on, on the tackle. Um, Blake Salter there on the tackle. Um, they, they finally, they got a little momentum. We hold them to a field goal attempt. They knock it through. Um, but again, we're still in good shape. We're up a touchdown. Yeah, that was uh, with 22 seconds to go. So that was the end of the half. And boy, it was a great, uh, hard fought ball game. We're going to show you the second half when we come back here on the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatchell. We'll be right back with the second half. Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. It's the win. We are racers. Enough of this golf already. I want you to go. Golf no. stupid. You're stupid. Boys, settle down. That Time Warner cable 
Any of these devices can be your TV at the click of a button. No one offers more sports on more devices than Time Warner Cable. Why have you got a laptop? I want the yeah. cell phone. Give me that laptop. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC and ask how you can save up to $600. Switch to a better entertainment experience, guaranteed. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Hi folks, welcome back to the Race Report with Head Coach Chris Hatcher here. We're going to take a look at the second half from LP Field in Nashville, Tennessee. It was uh, fun for the guys to get to play on a uh, NFL field like that. First time the racer's been there since 2009. So coach, you're starting the second half here. You got the lead and in the second half it was just hard for you to move that football, wasn't it? It was and you know right there I, I thought our special teams played well at times, especially our mm -hmm. kickoff team. So it's very important we come out um, with some good fight early on, and we do. Um, you know, um, we get great pressure on the quarterback here. Um, really nice tackle by Felton Collins, and um, we force them to punt. We get the ball with wonderful field position here. Um, great job by Janowski Davis going in and catching the football um, here. Um, Jordan Morrow, you know, first down completion, ball at the 50. Um, we get a little pressure in, in, in Parks' face there, so we have an errant throw, and um, Right here, we, we you know we're just that was a good break. Yeah, we're just not <laughs> clicking really well at this point, and um, you know here we we um, I thought that could have been pass interference, but it wasn't. Um, so we we go down, we kick it. Uh, we got to do a good job of stopping on the returner, but our coverage was really good. At What's more, uh, I guess it was Jordan, not Jordan Morrow, but Josh Manning. He missed him the first time and then kept after. Came him. back, and <laughs> I thought that was really good contain. Um, there by our, by our guys, um, Anthony Hayes was our contain man on there. So um, again, just you know, a couple quick changes of possession. Sam Small there on the tackle. The only negative here, you know, this was a, a good completion for him is the field position starting to change. Right. Um, at, at this point, and um, you know, we get good job there by Corey Addison, the senior out of Jacksonville, Florida. Um, you know, again, we're just playing the run really well. And here's a lot of guys. Felton Collins, I thought, had a nice night. Um, you know, most of, for the most part, he made a lot of big plays for us. And it kept seeing a lot of blue hats going to the ball. Yeah, Darren Yavi there, and um, we end up blocking this kick. Um, I think number 91, I O, he gets in there and blocks it. So, um, again, a big stop as we head into the fourth quarter. But you know, offensively, we got to get something going. And um, again, we go three and out. Um, nice placement here on the kick. Um, again, trying to change the field position um, of the game and um, really nice throw and catch by them, um, beating us in the zone. Um, but this is kind of when they started, I don't know, I think maybe wearing us down a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, we didn't play the bootleg well on this drive. Um, we had a couple bust, um, a missed tackle um, right there. Actually, they missed a face mask. And, um, and, but again, we're bowing our neck down here. Um, good uh, tackle you here. You stopped him on the first yeah, two. Yeah, there's Perry Cooper on the tackle. Um, we catch him here and trying to bootleg. And nice play there by um, Perry Cooper and Corey Addison. Um, and, and Kylie, we just almost. Yep, we don't do a good job of playing the um, playing the tight end. And um, we had a bust. So now all of a sudden it's all knotted up and. Things aren't looking good just because we can't get anything going on the offensive side. Well, so on first down, Blackburn makes the catch for six. Now it's second and four, and there's just nobody open. And then on third down, uh, I thought that was interference there. But well, uh, I did too, Dave. But you know that's a kind of a rookie mistake by Jesse Blackburn. Um, he's got to do a good job of coming back to the football, and and here our defensive ends just got to keep contained. Right here, we called the blitz the wrong way, our check on the field. They go in and score, and that ended up being all they needed to win the ball game. Yeah, so with 128 to go, uh, the racers, you still had two timeouts left. If you could just get it, maybe got a first down, got oh, something yeah. going yeah, well, here. We get a great return here by um, Jamal Berry. And, and watch him lower the boom down here. Um, you know what I mean? So we get good field position on the 40. I mean, you can't ask for yep. much more. 
um, at this point. And then this was kind of the backbreaker. Um, I believe if Omoro Morrow catches that one, he's, he runs for a good, good ways. And um, at this point, they pin their ears back and um, mm -hmm. just really had, our, had their way with our offensive line. And um, here we, we end up on third down, overthrow Jordan Morrow, who's open in the flat. And then fourth down, our left, our right side of the line gets beat on a twist to end the ball game. Very disappointing game, very winnable game for us, Dave. Right. Um, just very disappointed that we couldn't find a way to win the ball game. Well, you take a look at the final stats there. It was, really, it was interesting contrast. Uh, the racers only rushed for 24 yards, TSU 241, but the racers at 247 in passing, and TSU only had 60. And it was just one of those things. And then you look at the uh, time of possession, uh, the racers after that first quarter didn't have the ball very much. So it's a 17-10 defeat. It's a tough one. We're going to take a break here on the Racer Report with Chris Hatcher and hear from a couple of the players after the game. We'll do that next. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. There's enough of this golf already. How much of the golf? I'm no. stupid. You're stupid. Boys, settle down. At Time Warner Cable, any of these devices can be your TV at the click of a button. No one offers more sports on more devices than Time Warner Cable. Why do you got a laptop? I want the yeah. cell phone. Give me that laptop. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC and ask how you can save up to $600. Switch to a better entertainment experience guaranteed. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. I go because my friends are here. I go because it's so close. I go for the small class sizes. I go to get a better job. I go because I can take classes when it works for me. I go because I can transfer my credits. I go for some of Kentucky's most affordable tuition. I go because it's crazy not to. For all the right reasons. The Kentucky Community and Technical College System. Higher education begins here. doing it's summer let's hit the beach Mom? you need a pepsi Ooh. let's have some fun Ooh, all right. <laughs> summer time is pepsi time you gotta work on that tan bro Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher. Coach will join us in just a moment. But first, our post-game interviews, starting with Darian Yavi and Parks Frazier. It is always a tough, tough thing when you lead the whole game and you lose it in the end. And that's what happened to the Racers. They did not trail in the game until there was a minute, 28 seconds left. It was a heartbreaking loss, 17-10 at Tennessee State. And Yavi and Frazier talked about it. I mean, we, we've got to take the positives from this game. We've got to regroup. Uh, we've got to go to the film room, get our mistakes, put them down on, put them down on paper, and uh, correct them, come out fighting. There's no reason to give up. So, I mean, we've got one more game left. We're going to come out strong. Yeah, we, well, Coach Hatcher always tells us, you know, you play to be the best you can be. And right now the best you can be, can be is 6-6. Six and six. So, you know, we're, we're disappointed right now. We obviously wanted this game bad. But, uh, you know, we're going to go in next week. We're going to watch film. Just like every other week, and this week's just as big of a game as this one was and as the first one was for us. You know, we're playing to be 6-6, six and six, and uh, everybody in that locker room, you know, wants to send those seniors out with a win. So that, that's pretty much what we're going to try and do. Well, we appreciate Darren Yayavi and Parks Frazier uh, speaking to the race report afterwards. And, uh, Coach, you know, my heart goes out to your, to your team. We, you know, we talked about this last week. You just see the... Uh, the faces uh, of your players, how disappointed they are, and I know you as coaches, uh, you, you want your kids to have success, and uh, the effort is there right now. You just, boy, you're you're really depleted right now. Well, we we do, and that's a fact that yeah. we've lost a lot of good players to injury and some sickness, and um, and and so we're we're just having to make shift a lineup Patchwork. sometimes. But yeah. um, but our guys, they are playing hard, mm -hmm. and and I'm proud of them for that. I feel for them. Now, after the game, I didn't have anything to say. I just said, man, I'm sorry that we're we're not finding a way to win these games. But um, one thing we got to do is we got to do a better job of preparing during the week. And I, I didn't think we prepared 
um, really like we're capable of mm -hmm. headed into this ball game. And um, so, you know, one thing as we move forward, it brings new opportunities. We, we, the best we can be is six and six on the season with a win over Eastern Kentucky, a team that we hadn't beaten at home since 1999. Yes. Last win is 2004. Um, we beat them two out of the last 13 times we played them. So um, that'd be a big feather in our cap to go six and six and beat Eastern Kentucky the last game of the year. Well, it's a huge game, and we need a good crowd out there at Stewart Stadium on Saturday. They're going to kick it off at noon. And we'll look uh, forward to that uh, last game and your last chance to see Racer 1 uh, running around. Uh, and that's always special. So uh, we're going to take another break and come back and talk about that game with EKU. We'll do that next here with Chris Hatcher on the Racer Report. Enough of this golf already. I want you to go. Golf no. stupid. You're stupid. Boys, settle down. At Time Warner Cable, any of these devices can be your TV at the click of a button. No one offers more sports on more devices than Time Warner Cable. Why do you got a laptop? I want the yeah. cell phone. Give me that laptop. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC and ask how you can save up to $600. Switch to a better entertainment experience, guaranteed. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers. Locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Back here in the Racer Report and looking forward to the Racers coming back home to Stewart Stadium on Saturday as they take on Eastern Kentucky. And when you uh, talk about this game, you've got to talk about the uh, the formation of the OVC as Eastern Kentucky and Murray State were uh, part of that way back in 1948. Uh, the first game between these two teams was in 1923 and just down through the years. I, I think uh, uh, Murray State and Eastern Kentucky have played every year since like 1935 or something like that, Coach. So when you talk about the history of college football, that, that's a big, big game. But, but apart from that, it's a big game because you guys are back at home and it's the last game of the season. Well, we send off a lot of good seniors yeah. um, down the way. You know, um, I look back and, you know, in the previous five years to us taking the job, they don't won 13 games. Yeah. You know, we have a chance to win 24 mm -hmm. in four years. Um, right. Not setting the woods on fire, but we are improving. Um, I thought we could make the turnaround a little quicker than we have, but you know we're we're in every ball game. I oh, mean, yeah. it, it just comes down to making a play here or there. Um, so this week we're going to Bower Neck again. We we had a lot of guys banged up in the game. Um, that some of them will be game time decisions. Offensively, uh, we're we're running out of skill, guys. We'll probably probably have to play some re some running backs at mm -hmm. receiver this week. Um, but we're going to suit up one more time, give it the old college try, do the best we can, and hopefully we can finish off and even our record up, but more importantly, get that much-needed win over our arch-rival Eastern Kentucky. Well, I, I talked to several of the seniors uh, the last couple of weeks, and uh, it's, it's on their mind. This is, this is it. And so they're going to come to the stadium on Saturday. They're going to walk in that locker room like they always do, but the only thing is this is the last time. Uh, and we'll talk about that before we leave here. So one more break here on the Race Report. We'll come back and wrap it up and hear Neil Bradley's calls from Saturday. We'll do that next. I go because my friends are here. I go because it's so close. I go for the small class sizes. I go 
to get a better job. I go because I can take classes when it works for me. I go because I can transfer my credits. I go for some of Kentucky's most affordable tuition. I go because it's crazy not to. For all the right reasons. The Kentucky Community and Technical College System. Higher education begins here. Hey, ladies. Ah. Enjoying the film? Of course not. Because this is our movie! And Dr. Pepper Tate is our soda. It's only 10 manly calories, but with all 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper. It's what guys want, like this. Catchphrase. So you can keep the romantic comedies and lady drinks. We're good. Dr. Pepper 10, it's not for women. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. in top of the key. Six seconds to go to three. Back here to wrap it up with head coach Chris Hatcher. Uh, coach, you remember your, your last game at Valdosta very well? I do. Yeah. I do. We, were, we got beaten double overtime in the second round of the playoffs mm -hmm. by North Alabama, which was a great game. We actually went 11-2 and two that year. Both defeats came to North Alabama, uh -huh. who won the national championship. So, um, you know, this week's always a tough week. Um, it's a lot more fun when you don't know when your last game's going to be when you're in the playoffs. Right. But, um, you know, every day we go, it's, it's one less day these guys have to be um, active Murray State Racer mm -hmm. football players. And um, when the whistle stops blowing for you, um, part of you dies. And I yeah. stress that to the guys all the time. So um, I, I expect us to come out and give a great effort. Well, I think we'll prepare well this week. And hopefully um, we'll play well enough to come out with a victory on Saturday. All right, Coach, good luck. Thanks, Dave. Look forward to it. Look forward to seeing you there Saturday when the racers take on Eastern Kentucky at Stewart Stadium at noon. We'll see you next time on the Racer Report. Before we leave today, here's the voice of the racers, Neil Bradley. He has Barry to his left. Now Barry shifts to the right side. Wide out to the right. They have twins to the left. Frazier wants the ball. Looks across the middle. He fires, and it's caught by Pokey Reese for the touchdown. Pokey Harris, I think. Did I call him Pokey Reese? I think it did. It's the uh, shortstop. Pokey Harris with the <laughs> touchdown. Uh, Butler, the quarterback, he has the ball, stays in the pocket, throws right side, hits Broughton, and he is leveled at the 24-yard line by the racers, Darian Skinner. It's left, Frazier passes deep, has harness, he hauls it in at the 23-yard line. He fell down as he made the catch, but it's first and 10 racers. It's left, Barry to the right of Parks Frazier. And Frazier has it with a two-step drop. Looks downfield. He fires deep, and it's caught by Davis at the 10. And he falls down at the 6. First and goal, Racers. Missed the 39-yarder earlier. This will be a little better. Carson Beyer, the holder. Perfect snap. The kick looks good. And it is. Jamin Godfrey, left-footed kicker, on for the 35-yard field goal. It's blocked. Somebody got a hand on it and blocked it. And I believe that was number 91 for the racers. That would be Ayo Ojalola. Is that? Jamin Godfrey with the kick. And this is going to be Barry with a take at the three yard line. Turns the corner 30 35 and bumped out of bounds just before he got to the 40 yard line. But a fabulous return for Jamal Barry. White right when the Rangers needed it.